YouTube, welcome back to the battlefields of Warhammer. We'll be joining the Hordes of Chaos this time as they face off against Fair Bretonia. Yeah, we do have some uh, chosen with halberds, it looks like, in this army. Those are some pretty sick looking units. Obviously, they're probably expecting cavalry. So, chosen with halberds, supported by Forsaken. There's one Chaos Warhound with poison. Interesting. Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes. That's actually not a bad idea to try and keep heavy cavalry in check. And there is some. There's Grail Knights out here. Those Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes would be pretty effective versus the Grail Knights, I think. Chaos Lord on a Chaos Dragon, the double-headed dragon, a Fire Sorcerer on a Manticore, and then just a Feral Manticore. The Fire Sorcerer has a Fireball and the Flaming Sword of Ruin. Let's check out the Bretonian Army. Looks like uh, several men at arms with pole arms, a couple of foot squires in the back. So that's a pretty expensive infantry corps. Damsel Lore of Life, Royal Pegasus Knights, and then King Luan Lienker. So in the flying matchup here, I actually think Chaos has the edge. The single unit of Royal Pegasus Knights I do not believe would swing this, especially since they could be supported by the Marauder Horsemen. There's no archers for Bretonia. That is interesting indeed. In fact, no ranged whatsoever. And Bretonia wants to sit back, and Chaos does have the Fireball. They could probably use it to squelch out this, um... Uh, maybe the Grail Relique or the Damsel. But, ooh, here it comes. Damsel's gonna get... Whoa! <laughs> Woo! That Fireball, but whoa, and another one! Back to back, that must have been a Scroll of Power. Yeah, it was. Scroll of power for back-to-back -back fireballs. The Damsel of Life is gone. The Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes uh, being a nuisance to the front line. They don't know about the Grail Knights yet. What a play early on by Chaos. you got to be careful of that um, scroll of power, people. It's a very overlooked item. That scroll of power can be used to devastating effect with the right spells and the right winds of magic. Look at this. Chaos actually with a ranged advantage over Bretonia. Who would have figured? Oh yeah, these guys are going to want to stay away from those axes. Not a smart move. Now the Pegasus Knights could catch these dudes, but chasing them they would take a lot of damage. These Marauder Horsemen are looking to capitalize. Look at this, just going to devastate these, uh, these uh, men at arms who actually do catch them momentarily, so a bit of a micro lapse here on the part of the uh, Chaos player. And then here comes the Royal Pegasus Knights, but the damage should be fairly limited. The leadership, though, on the Marauder Horseman is pretty poor, but they're going to survive it. Look at the damage done to Bretonia so far. The Grail Knights are now moving up the flank, and the Grail Knights do represent a significant threat. But I don't know. I mean, unless the Chosen with Halberds are significantly weakened, they should be able to deal with Grail Knights and things. The Royal Pegasus Knights catch the Fire Sorcerer and are looking for retribution for what happened to the Damsel. And an overall air brawl breaks out here with the Royal Pegasus Knights facing a Chaos Dragon. I don't know if... Yeah, Lewin is in the fight. So an all-out aerial brawl here. Fire Sorcerer is trying to get away. The Chaos Lord has to use his potion. Feral Manticore's in, and Lewin and his Pegasus Knights are actually looking pretty imposing at the moment. And the Chosen with Halberds ought to slaughter the uh, Bretonian Infantry, I think. Now, the Forsaken probably would do great against the uh, Men at Arms, but they won't do as good versus the Foot Squires, I don't think. But they will win the charge. If they charge, they don't charge, though, so the Foot Squires do have a pretty big charge. They're going to smack down the Forsaken, actually. So that did not go the way that I would have expected it to. The Chaos Lord is in some danger. Some nice trying to get support in here from the uh, Marauder Horsemen. And it is working to an extent. Lewin, uh, Lewin is putting up a heck of a fight. Feral Manticore is struggling against the Pegasus Knights, and the Grail Knights are now swinging in from behind, getting around the Chosen with Halberds. It'd be nice to see the Grail Knights kited with the uh, Marauder Horseman throwing axes, but he's not going to charge away. Huge advantage that's going to be lost here by Chaos, and Bretonia potentially clutching out a save here. Those Marauder Horsemen need to get away. They should use these Chaos Warhounds with poison and see if they can get them away. Oh, the rear charge. The Halberds do turn around, but let's see what happens. Oh yeah, they don't take a ton of damage. Well, never mind, they take a lot of damage. But they should be able to really dish it to these Grail Knights in prolonged combat, and they are. 
They are dishing it out. As long as the Chosen can hold their morale together, they'll be devastating. And the Marauder Horsemen really need to get free of these fights. Well, they're almost out of axes, so I guess it may not be a huge deal in the end. If they still had a lot of axes left, it would be a crippling blow. But not using those axes on the Grail Knights could actually make this fight more interesting. The Fire Sorcerer is running for his life. He's, he can't get away from Royal Pegasus Knights. Lewin um, can actually start healing, and he is healing. And I believe that the uh, Chaos Lord is off the battlefield. So that's going to be a blow for Chaos. Look, here comes the Royal Pegasus Knights. They're kind of like Grail Knights on a um, on a Pegasus here. And they are going to Shrek these Raider Horsemen with throwing axes. But they will in turn get Shreked by the uh, Chosen with Halberds. And the Chosen with Halberds just absolutely laying waste to the Grail Knights. As one would expect, they're anti-armor and anti-large and extreme armor on the Chaos with Halberds. So these guys are not going to be easily dealt with. And since Bretonia has nothing else to deal with them, that questing knights would have helped. But still, I mean, this many chosen with halberds. I mean, Bretonian archers wouldn't be all that good against the halberds because of their armor. They, they would definitely help do some damage. Foot squires would have been the best trade. And there were some foot squires on the battlefield, but they weren't able to get the job done. There's a few of them left here, in fact. Foot squires on the charge would probably do a lot of damage to Chaos Halberds, uh, Chosen with Halberds, but not being on the charge, I'm thinking the Halberds will do quite well. That was a pretty interesting battle. That fireball at the beginning with the scroll of power, quite clutch. And so as I think about what Bretonia maybe could have done better here, let's take a look and again try and assess what this might mean. I like the pick of the Chosen with Halberds here. Um, Bertoni just didn't have a good answer to it. I think maybe a good answer would be Doomflock, but that's if you expected Chaos to bring this. There's a lot of different builds that Chaos could bring. They could bring Double Shagoth with a lot of forsh uh, Forsaken. Um, they could bring uh, even the ridiculous Triple Shagoth stuff. They can bring a pretty powerful Air Core uh, with a lot of Terror. They could bring a lot of different stuff. Um, now, Bertoni, of course... With Grail Knights and other stuff now having anti-large, they're going to have a pretty significant boost. Uh, but in this case, uh, quite a bit of money spent on the Bretonian infantry with these minute arms, and probably would have just been better off to have some more uh, foot squires. And that damsel getting wrecked by the fire sorcerer at the beginning was actually a pretty big deal because the damsel could have buffed the Grail Knights substantially, um, or the infantry, one of the two. But I think the Grail Knights would have been the better choice. So again, I like the fact that the uh, damsel was chosen. Uh, to work in concert with the Grail Knights um, or with Lewin. Either way, it needs to go the Pegasus. Any of these these um, targets would have been useful for the Damsel to support, but, you know, nothing going there, and that was that was definitely a problem for Bertoni. What do you all think of the builds, the battle in general? Hope you all enjoyed it. I know I did. I'll be back with more in the future. Appreciate you all submitting these. I've got a lot more replays to show you. I'll be playing battles myself on my laptop throughout the week, trying to gain some Bretonia experience. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I will see you soon.